See, I just I know that this is the right job for me. I don't know how, but I know I know it is. I mean, it's kind of like you know loving your children or loving your pets, right? No matter what they do, you still love them, right? <laughs> Uh, so, see what I try to do is, like if you brace for something, then whatever happens will not shock you as much. So in my case, bracing means preparing for huge amounts of uh, time that will be wasted for logistics, for all kinds of issues that are not related to fun and to teaching parts. See, I teach small classes and well, as well as large classes. So I can really compare the amounts of time that go into just maintaining and teaching and coordinating a first large first year class. Uh, see, when you scale a course 20 fold, that's what we have. The amount of work you have to do as coordinator is huge. I don't write two or three reference letters a year. I have 30 or 40 requests. You know, I don't have one CSD student. student. I have a dozen of them. For each of them, you have to make arrangements. So, see, every little thing that you do isn't a problem. But when it's magnified to a level where you spend one or two hours daily just to answer emails, to deal with that, that's, that could really kill the mood. So I kind of I try to, to prepare myself for it. I try to be extremely efficient in dealing with that stuff. I mean, if you have 30 emails from your students daily, you cannot devote five minutes to answering each student's email. You know, to be personal or whatever. That's already three and a half hours or something. I, forget, I don't know. So what I have is already prepared paragraphs and I just cut, cut and paste. I mean, I apologize to my students. I'm sorry, I cannot be personal with, with each of the 1,200 of you that sit in my class. Okay? So actually, one, one thing which is really important for me is to keep sanity. So to have good things in perspective, to prepare for the course. See, I'm actually mostly done with preparing my large classes. So once I start teaching, it's daily, you know, daily grind of things that will come. See, when you have 1,200 students, you know statistically that at least two students will have a car accident coming to a test. You know that at least three or four relatives will die before each test. Sounds funny, but it's true. And then you have to, you know, have to deal with each individual case. Yeah. Okay. So what you keep in mind is that actually you love teaching, you love the material, and that's what keeps you going. Mm -hmm.